G'day, I'm Stephen Spry, and this is episode 4 of the making of OXG Rosteo TF2, where I'm making a new map for Transport Fever 2, which is based on an exported height map from Shukaboa's Great City Skylines map, link in the description. Now last time around I tidied up uh, all these main riverways and the marshy bit. Mm -hmm. That. And, by the way, um, that little lake that I made has now become deep enough to become an old abandoned quarry, let's say. But let's have a look at this marshy bit. Um, no jaggedy... Well, sorry, no jaggedy edges, and he shows a jaggedy edge. Never mind. Uh, we'll cover all of those up when we get to biomes and vegetation with some mangroves. But if you decided to uh, wander over to Google to see all about our marshy bits and, and, and whether we are uh, <clears throat> factually correct. Well, fact check. Mm, yeah, all right. Let's have a look. Uh, ooh. They appear to have done an awful lot of dredging. <laughs> yeah, well. <clears throat> okay, you get that. An awful lot of dredging. Uh, probably all of that by the looks of it, but Hey, it'll do for now, and we'll leave the dredging up to whoever wants to play the game. Now, Transport Fever 2 water is only available at sea level. All of this stuff, all of this water, is only available at zero metres in elevation. But, well, I've got a river that seems to go up there. And I've got another river that, well, you can see it sort of seems to flow up that way. And, but wait, there's more. Well, you're not too fussed about that one. Just leave that one. Um, this one, it continues. Yeah. So I've got all of these rivers. Uh, nothing there. Over here. Yeah, okay. This one keeps going. Look, all the way up to here. And, well, you can see where this one goes. Uh, a little bit up there and a lot up here. Ooh, that comes in a long way. And that one could come up there. Um, there, yes. Uh, here a little bit. There a lot. Uh, here a lot. And um, here, yeah. Lots of rivers that aren't at sea level. No. Uh, in fact, if we get out of that and go in and have a look at our contour lines layer... This one, for example, is at 30 metres. Uh, and this one up here, if we follow the... up, that's 50. Okay, this one, if we follow it up, uh, that's 50 as well, and going up even higher, up into the... you could, you could, if you wanted to, go up to 60, 70, 80, maybe even up to here. Uh, hmm... Up to you how far you want to represent the actual inland rivers, uh, inland waterways we should call them. Um, I don't want to go too berserk, but I don't want this to just stop like that. I mean, it could, look, we, we could still take that one up. Well, yeah, all the others you've gone up to, well, why don't you do that? And we'll just finish this one off just a reminder of what we did last time. Okay, we found the flatten tool. About there, about there, and... Really? <laughs> yeah! That was it. And now we have... Oh, sorry, I forgot the smoothing. Bit of smoothing. Um, hmm. You lost the river, though. Well... And only, oh, that's too big, too much, too much. Make it smaller. Okay, smaller it is. More fluid, more, more smoothing. Okay, have a quick look. Oh, those waves look ridiculous when you do that. Mm, they do, don't they? Well, you know when the, the waves come from the settings that we have uh, right at the start of the game by setting the climate it's tropical. Okay, so the map at the moment is... Get the words right, Stephen. 
the map at the moment, the climate is already tropical, yes. The environment, however, dictates the waves. And here, I've set the environment also to tropical. Right, OK. And that means we get wavy water, does it? It does. But what are you going to do about this? Where, how far up does this come? Uh, well, if you wanted to, you could probably bring it up to there. Does it, sh yeah, look sort of around there. You can see where it goes. So how are you going to do that? Well, what have we got? 20, 30. Okay, all right. Well, let's get, hmm, um, um, hmm. i tell you what we'll do. We'll start with paint. Why not? Paint. Uh. Forest ground. I like using forest ground. What's this one? Forest one? No, forest ground. There's two, three different. Okay, well, this is the standard one, this fella here. Okay, so uh, use that one. Get rid of navigable water layers. Come over there. Okay, now the trick with these is to use paint. Right, half strength. Yeah, you don't make it too bold. Uh, and then paint. I can't see a damn thing. Trust me, it's there. You've just got to get the positioning roughly right. And then you can get out of everybody's horrible layer. Forest ground. Bring it down into the... Into that. Yeah, I'm not liking the cliffs. Well, we don't have to. Uh, just... This is meant to mark where the river could go. Right. Uh, back to terrain tools. Okay. Uh, grab that fella. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, he's right. Um, I want. I want the layer. Okay. So that's zero. Right. So start there and come up. Right. Now start there and come up. Oh, you don't have to come up so far. Okay, uh, six. Uh, ten. Yeah, all right. Um, Fifteen. Fifteen. Back to fifteen. Yep. Okay. Almost at twenty anyway. Um, Eighteen. Yep. Now do twenty. Are we still on that paint? We are. We've got to come around the corner. Okay. Uh, select that one. Come around the corner. Yep. How's the height? Um, it's doing okay. I don't know where our line is. We're still in it. Good stuff. Um, 24. Yep. 25. Yep. Uh, 20 and a little bit at the top. 25, no, I don't want 25, 27. Okay, so what you've got now is a sort of a groove. Uh, yeah, yep, 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 okay. Sort of a groove. Well, <coughs> you can work it. Um, It's a bit steep there, don't you think? Probably. But, uh, let's... What's that 2.6? It'll come down. Point... Half of that. 1.3. Yeah, okay. 1.3, 2.6. Now, smoothing. Oh, Roger. Okay. Now, bit bigger. Uh, too big, I think. Uh, Dabity dab strength, please. Out on the outside, yeah, on the outside. Ooh, no, that's fine. Now you can't undo any of this. Well, you probably might be able to. I haven't got that undo mod enabled. There is a new one, by the way. Well, Mr. Spry, it might be a good idea to um, <clears throat> include it with all of this dabity dabbing stuff going on.
don't you think? Um, well, it probably could be. Now, there we go. There's the riverbed marked out. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, I think, uh, this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay, well, come back over to the, the paint tools, and this is the one we used earlier. Strength up, all the way up the river. Okay, all the way up the river, and on the edges, on the edges, well, going to go back to your smoothing tool and yeah get rid of the jaggedy bit okay am I well if you just keep not at that strength you won't if you just keep playing around on the outside oh, Roger we might we might get the yeah, it's not looking promising though, is it? Okay, no, it's not. Well, come in further. Gouge more into the cliff. Uh, right. And then come back with your... Ah, I see. Does that work? I pretty sure I think that's working now I remember painting over this bit and I didn't want to so erase the grass now on the bits that you uh, right now what well to be honest with you <coughs> we will this is just for demonstration purposes okay please don't shoot me but we're going to... What don't we want here? Let's have a quick look. Not putting vegetation in at the moment. Oh my god. No, you're not putting vegetation in at the moment. I don't really want all the big palms. Okay. Kill the palm, kill the palm, kill the palm, kill the palm, kill the banana. How's that? Still got a, oh, you only tick. You didn't kill anything. You selected all of them, did I? No, that's fine. Palm, palm. Okay, let's start from scratch again, please. Okay, they look like normal trees. Good. Now, <laughs> I just keep watching. I think you know what you're doing. I hope I know what I'm doing. Right, right down. Yep, okay, and right down, right, okay, and uh, maybe you need the strength up. Um, it doesn't want to do anything, does it? Try that one. Too small? What is going on? Slope threshold. Oh, it's on the slope. Oh, okay. Didn't make any difference. I tried in the middle. Paint steep side. What does that mean? I have no idea. It makes no difference. <clears throat> okay, just do that then. Yep, working great, Stephen. Well, you know what you're doing. Uh, no, try that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Just goes to show that even with a couple of thousand hours, you can... Oh, right. yeah, okay, too strong. Kill it. Thank you. Now we drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. Okay. So what we will do later, when we get the right sort of tree selection established, is come along the edges of the river, come along the watercourses. Yeah, okay. Where the river supposedly flows and then 
I, I'm only dilly dabbing here at the moment. Is there a collision thing on? Uh, skip collision. Well, that will help you just. Okay, we will get a much more accurate. Um, oops, try light. Accurate representation of the grasses and everything else, um, the grasses, the vegetation, and all that stuff later on. But that's the light one. Well, it's not even that, you know, it's a different one altogether. Well, it's not alpine grass. No, definitely not. Um, I'll go back to the the one you first thought of. Yeah, okay, that'll do. That's not going. We'll sh hold the shift key down. If something doesn't disappear, like it won't here under the tree, so hold the shift key down and you've got better control over it near the vegetation. Alright, so that's the sort of thing we've got to do. Now, uh, there is another water paint tool. There's Water Dirty, Water Dirty 2 and Water Dirty 3. So let's have a look at the Water Dirty comes with the vanilla game. Water Dirty 2 and Water Dirty 3, they come with the mod USA Textures. Right, so, <coughs> Water Dirty, the blue, I want to drop that right down, okay, and we can pretend Doing it ah because you got trees there hold the shift key okay and reduce the strength somewhat here somewhat more and because you've got shadows and all of that sort of stuff happening you don't want trees in the actual river. Uh, that's not level though. Well, hey, guess what? You know how to fix that. Uh, I do. A terrain tool, flatten. Um, what about there? Yep, alright. And, oh, oh, hello. What are you? Fox. My goodness me. Um. All right. <clears throat> so you've sort of blended that in, but you've still got water going uphill on these edges. And we'll go to paint. Go to there. Uh, use that one, the solid one. Brush right down and just. Come in and is it doing anything? I think so. Yeah. But look, you know, how pedantic do you want to be here? What do you mean? Well, <coughs> maybe there. Uh, yeah. Who's ever going to get this close down here and look at all of this? Uh, you will. Yeah. Well, apart from me. Well, that's the point. No one is going to notice that sort of thing. They might notice the tree in the middle of the river there. <clears throat> okay, so. There you go. That's what you've got to do. <laughs> everywhere else. Oh, what do you mean everywhere else? 
well wherever you've got um, that's a paint tool thank you uh, big and er uh, erase and max and go <sighs> make life hard well that's sort of what you've got to do uh, have a look at our thing contour layer it does come up further if you wanted to continue that tree line not really okay don't then <clears throat> um, what else you have to do of course is add uh -huh, uh, even more trees right um, perhaps along this riverbank and again it's probably a dabity dab thing as we go and it'll actually is collision off yes It'll actually um, cover up that the jaggy bits. See the jaggy bits there? If you paint enough down there, you can cover the jaggy bits up. Because basically, look, rivers have trees along their banks, don't they? Yeah, you've got a lot of colliding going on there. Maybe you need it a bit stronger. There we go. That helps. And then you can come along and if there's too many trees along the riverbank, you just whiz along with the erase tool and come in with the bulldozer and kill the ones that are actually... Oh my god. Um, they're not meant to have a swim, no. And again, this is this is the sort of fiddly idly diddly stuff that you've got to decide whether or not you want to do because um, there's an awful lot of rivers, inland rivers, on this map. Do you want to actually <clears throat> pretend that they're all there? How, to what extent do you want to go to with your waterways? Um, the ones at sea level, pretty obvious. I think they have to be there. But these ones? Um, whoops. How's that join? Um, probably a bit more of the dirty water, please. Just the, yeah, that's fine, don't worry too much about it. These waves are a problem. What, don't you like them? Uh, well, not up a river. I can't imagine them being like that unless a boat's just gone <laughs> straight up the guts. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, well, again. We'll talk about the environment settings later when it comes to a lot closer to getting the map ready to be uploaded to the workshop. Okay. All right, so there you go. Oh, and of course. Nice. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I don't know, the bit of wildlife around. I thought that was wildlife for a second. So, dressing up the dry portion of the river with forest ground texture, uh, a random selection of trees appropriate to the biome, which these aren't, which we will get to later in the biome episode. And then coming along the actual river bank where the water really is and um, making it look little bit more realistic than just these horrible rocks although they have their place but as you can see this selection of trees um, it painted out the the rock paint all the way along here so that's pretty cool now I've only got uh, one 
Oh dear, I don't want to know. Two, um, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, more rivers. Um, or not. I don't know. I could just tidy up the smooth here, the, the, the edge, and um, just leave it at that. The problem with doing this from here up, okay, from, where is it? The edge of the water is right there. The problem with making a river this way is that, um, particularly where you paint the, the dirty water in, the AI doesn't recognise this as a river and can quite easily build over it. So if you do any of this sort of stuff near where a town's going to be, um, chances are it'll be built on. <laughs> okay. Did you like that? Um, I, 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 it, jury's still out. I mean, it, 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 yes, fine, I do, I do. It looks good. Um, it looks more natural. Yep, yep, yep. But wow, if you've got a map that's got, well, that one's going to be in an urban area, so I'm thinking it's not going to happen. Well, thank God for that. Um, this one, again, potentially urban area. This one's out in the bush more. Um, we might just come up. Ah. Uh, Look, I really don't know. I think what you've got to do is tidy up the ends. Okay, so let's have a look at the end. That is not going to work. Um, no, it goes from 0 metres up to 50 metres rather quickly. So I'm going to have to tidy that up with the different leveling and flattening tools and get a better gradient happening there um, it's kind of who cares about navigability I'll get the whole damn map is navigable but that does need tidying up that's that's a main feature river so yes you need to work on that one okay um, that one again you could just clean up that end of it like you did over here right but guess what what I'm not going to do any more of that now um, why well I'm not even going to do it off camera I'm going to wait until I have all the trees available to me I don't have the mod for it so at the moment you ready for it you're not I am. Uh, really? You don't want to just leave them there as a reminder? Okay. Alright. But they will be <laughs> replaced <laughs> with <laughs> more appropriate vegetation when we get to the biomes episode. Oh, thank God for that. <sighs> anyway, I asked you whether you liked it. I said, well, it's a bit fiddly. In fact, it's a lot fiddly, but... Oh, yeah, I, li I like the end result. Well, if you like that end result, then you better make sure you click the like button. Oh, <laughs> and then the subscribe button and ting the bell so that uh, you can uh, um, join me, Stephen Spry, next time as we continue working on the uh, OXG Rosteo map in Transport Fever 2. Hello, birdies. Bye, birdies. Oops. Until, uh, so until next time, it's bye-bye um, from me. And it's hooroo from him. I think you got that wrong, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Look, you know, fiddly is, is a great word to describe a lot of what you have to do in the map editor. Things can literally take 
ages to sculpt and to mould and to paint and yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the idea. I get the idea. Patience is definitely a virtue I'm going to need when map making. But, yeah, yeah, I think the final result, mm, the final result can be well worth it. Hopefully. See you next time, mate. Oh, what are we doing? Ah, uh, well, I think we're going to map out where our towns and industry are going to go. Ooh. And where the road networks could go. Road networks. What happened to rail? Ah, uh, well, look. <coughs> road. Yes. They're available. Uh, right, pr pr even freeways. Well, that's because it's 1865. I don't know. We've got to fix. We've got to discuss the starting date. But um, in the map editor, yep, there are no rail networks. Oh, you can't place a rail network. A piece of a, 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 yeah, no, you can't. Ooh, okay. Oh, well, all right then. Um, hmm, that sounds interesting. So, until then, see ya. <laughs> all right, mate. Hooroo.